Hello, my name's Rachel and welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to look at some more little acts of decluttering. So if you haven't seen my videos already, I do videos all about decluttering, minimalism and my no spend year. And what I've started to do over the last few months is come up with some suggestions of little acts of decluttering that you can do on a regular basis that can help you develop a minimalist mindset. Decluttering in itself can be quite overwhelming as a concept when you know that you've got so much stuff to do. So actually having these little acts gives you a small job to do each day that can help you to declutter at a sensible and manageable rate. So I've got some more suggestions to share with you. If you want to see any of the old videos, I will link them up here, but let's get started. First up is dresses. Could you go through and check whether or not all the dresses fit correctly and if they are suitable to the style that you're wanting and see if you can reduce any duplicates that you might have. Second up is rugs and bath mats. You only need one at a time in each area, in each bathroom. So if you've got spare, the chances are you don't really need them because you should be able to wash and dry within a short period of time. So you should be able to put them straight back within a day so you don't need to have lots of spares. You also may find that you have some rugs or bath mats that don't feel nice anymore. If you're not able to revive them using a carpet cleaner, it might be that they are too tired and you need to donate them or recycle them. Next up is belts and ties. Have you got too many of the same style of belt or same colour? Could you reduce the number that you have? Or do you have too many belts in general? Ties for men, it might be that you have lots of different styles, different colours. Could you reduce the amount that you have? Next up is to get in the habit of making sure that your bedroom floor is clear of clutter. So try and do this on a daily basis just picking up any clothes or any things that are lying about and putting them back into their place. And especially when it's your bedroom, this can make a huge difference to how you feel when you wake up in the morning. If you can wake up and feel like you've got a clean and tidy area, it gives you a good start to the day. Next up is to declutter any old phones. Chances are that you don't need to keep lots of old and spare phones. Worst case scenario, you could keep one if it's because you need it for a business, Chances are you can get a brand new phone very quickly these days, so you don't need to have a back stock. They're probably not up to the level that you want anyway. It's worth trying to sell them or donate them to somebody that will use them. Next up is to reduce the amount of hairstyling tools that you have. Do you have loads of curling irons or straighteners or uh, rollers? Could you reduce the amount that you have or get rid of any that you don't use? Next up is to make sure that the bath area or the shower area is clear of any old products and you just have things that you are going to be using on a regular basis. Next is to declutter and reduce the number of pens and pencils that you have. Stationery is a huge one where we end up collecting pencils from Ikea, etc. Do you need them? Reduce the amount that you have or donate them to somebody that does need them. Next up is jewellery. It may be that you have a collection. I only have a very small amount, but I don't wear it very often, so actually could you reduce the amount that you have? Have you got similar styles? Could you donate them to a friend that might like or enjoy them more to reduce the number that you have? Next up is to declutter glasses and sunglasses. So any old glasses can usually be donated to your opticians. So if they're prescription ones, donate them as well as sunglasses, making sure that you're giving them to the right person to get rid of them. Next up is workwear. Do you have any specific workwear items that are now worn or no longer being used? Could you declutter them? Next up is hair accessories. Do you have any bobbles or hair clips that you are not using or that are broken or damaged or pull at your hair when you use them? Declutter them and get rid of them. Next up is unused devices. This could be tablets, consoles, etc. Do you have any that you no longer use? Could you find a way of selling them or donating them to a friend. Next up is to have a look at your office desk and drawers. Could you make sure that the desk is clear of clutter and that your drawers are tidied up and organised? And lastly, now is the time to go around your bathroom sinks and to make sure that they are clear of any bits and pieces or any clutter. 
So there are 15 items that you can do over the next 15 days to declutter and help you develop a small change on a regular basis that can build up to a bigger change overall. So all these little acts of decluttering soon add up and will help you to develop your minimalist attitude to life and to your home. If you've enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and like it down below. And if you want to see more videos, don't forget to subscribe and press the bell notification so that you get the notification when I release new videos. I share videos all about minimalism, decluttering and my nose spend year. So I will be back with more of those soon. Take care. Bye.